it is the first day of school and the first day of daycare for Kit. We just dropped them off. And what did you just say? We got rid of them. We got rid of them. <laughs> so Wes and I are on our way home. He's he's gonna do drop offs from now on and I do pickups, but that's it. It started. We'll see how long school is in person for. I really have little faith for it, but we're gonna have have a, a normal time, hopefully a normal September while we can. Today I'm just gonna run some errands. I have some returns to do, and then I'm gonna do some work and I have to pick up Kit early because he's just doing a half day for his first day. I'll just take you along. I'm just at the thrift store, the Salvation Army in Burlington. It's my favorite one. It's on Fairview. It's small, but so good. Um, so I'm just gonna check out, this, this is where I saw the trench coat that I wanted and I'm just gonna check out um, more things because I have the time, so I'll show you around. shopping which took way longer than I thought it was gonna thought it was going to I thought I would have time to go to places but I found the most amazing curtains that are look like they're straight out of Heather Taylor home um, at Salvation Army and I had to like bring them out they were like brand new so they were donated from the company I assume um, and so I had, like opened everything up to like take a look at them so I'll have to show you those um, and then I'm putting together three panels of it for kids room because I really wanted this green gingham and it's gorgeous I'm so excited about it so I, that, I spent all my time doing that and then um, the whole half the store is Zara I can't believe it so Zara apparently just donates to Salvation Army I ask them every time I go and a lot of the workers were like I have no idea I just don't know and then the, the cashier was just like they just donate to us like we don't have a deal or anything with them and I was like that's amazing so half the store was Zara, which was really fun. Um, I love their stuff for kids. I like their stuff normally. Um, I feel a lot better buying secondhand Zara, secondhand Zara um, through Salvation Army because the money goes to a good cause. So, um, and then yeah, I got some shoes for Lux. So I'll show you all that later. Um, I'm gonna show you my outfit in a second. And yeah, let me show you what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing my C Paloma dress. I got this last year. It's the kind of the perfect weather for it. Sorry, my floor is re ah, my floor is reflecting in a weird way because it's like a shiny laminate. Um, so I got this yeah last year, and it's like a really nice cotton. It's more of a fall or spring dress because it's a little bit heavier, and with the appliques on it, uh, I love this. Love this dress. It was like yeah, the perfect weather for it. It was like 13 degrees Celsius here this morning and then now it's like 27 so it's a good time for a long sleeve mini i think um yeah and then i got to break out my new old geox um loafers so loafers are really in right now i'm very into tiktok right now and all the all the youth on there are telling me uh, like wearing their dresses with loafers and i'm like i like chunky ones and i was like okay let, like let me um let me see if i can find some and i found some at the salvation army i'm at and look, there's suede and leather. So I think they're so cute. Um, and they're just like a dark brown and they were marked as five and a half, size five and a half. And they're absolutely not because I have size eight feet and these fit me just fine. So I just, I did try off my, with my sandals at one point cause I was getting pretty hot, but otherwise I'm loving these. And then this is my Cezanne Claude bag that I like to wear, so that's my outfit. I'll show you it together. I scratched it Ugh, pretty badly there, so I'm still trying to polish that out. So this is the hole. 
look together. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about was um, this new account that my friend Yushi and I are starting and it's a, a market and it's called Yushi. So Yushi, uh, if you know her from online, like I've known her for years, like from Instagram and she follows me on YouTube and we just became really good friends. And so she comments on here every once in a while. And so her name is spelt Y-U-X-I and she's Chinese and her name is pronounced Yushi. And so we decided to start this market together um, where we wanted to sell our, like our things and then our other things, but we wanted to make it more of a community and we wanted to sell like, um, like just our favorite like feminine brands and just just kind of start conversations more about fashion rather than just being like a selling platform. So that's what we're doing um, and we're so excited about it. And so we were coming up with a name for it and Wes is like, Yushi is the coolest name ever. And I'm like, you know what it is? And so we decided to write it out and use it as a name like phonetically. So it's you plus she, so you and she. Um, so that might actually be confusing when I'm talking about the Yushi our Yushi market and then Yushi the person. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna show you all this stuff that I'm gonna list there soon. So, and I will link it um, below in the notes. So that's where you can follow us. It's called Shop Yushi um, on Instagram. So follow us there. Um, and it has like pretty standard things like $5 for a post and other stuff. But like there's some really special things that make it um, more unique and just kind of fun and community based um, rather than just throwing your stuff online and hoping it sells. So, um, let me show you what I'm going to list. This heap. <laughs> so I have um, some shorts from Doen. I have my Narcissa top. I have this really gorgeous dress from Doen called the Marina. Some Inukachu stuff. Some Christy Dawn stuff. Oak Meadow. This is a really beautiful brand um, called Bird and Kite. And this is a dress I ordered. And it just didn't work out. But it's so pretty. Um, yeah. And then... Some kid stuff. So make your way over there. So make your way over to Shop Yushi and follow us there. We have a website called yushi.love um, where you can get all the information on selling. And yeah, we just want to have a lot of fun with selling our stuff and helping others find like items that they really love secondhand. And that there's unicorn finds. Like we're just, we're going to have a lot of fun. So yeah, follow us there. Um, okay, I'm going to keep working. I'm, list, I'm listing my stuff as we speak, and then I have to go pick up my kids. Busy, busy, normal day. I'm really excited about it. Okay. Kid's wearing his curtains as a monster. You a monster kitty? Diddy. 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 Yeah, those are kitties. That's right. Kitty's room, yep. Oh, there's another one. Do you have your curtains? Should I sew them together? No. So these are the curtains. They're gonna sew their panels, so I'm gonna sew them together. And I'm gonna put them up here. In the green room, so I think it'll work perfectly. Hey. Hey, hey. All right, it is Thursday, September something, and I didn't vlog yesterday. But I went to the Salvation Army again because I forgot a set of curtains. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you everything that I got. Um, today I just um, filmed a video. So this is uh, Kit's first day, um, full full day daycare. It was so good because I was like asking Wes. I was like, "How did drop off go?" Because Wes does drop off. I do pick up. And he's like, "Good." He he pointed to the door and said, "Dada." Like he told Wes to leave. <laughs> funny so everything is going well well poppy says she loves her teacher and lux is so happy so we're like this is a new school for us so i'm like so happy that this is going well and then yeah today so it was the first full day and so i got to film a normal like formal sit down video and this is a sneak peek of what it was so i just did my um uh doing online warehouse like new in uh sale like what i got from that so i got this um, a cami tank sterling and the Lovisa and then the Ameline, which Lux is actually wearing today. Um, so I didn't have it in the video, but I showed the same thing. So that's coming up, so watch out for that. Um, yeah, sneak peek. This is the Sedona, size small, I love it. This is Cami, size medium. It's 
all so good. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I got from Salvation Army. So you saw a clip of me rifling through these curtains and I was so happy to find this. So I wanted gingham curtains. You saw a kit with them forever and um, not forever, but like that's just like my vision for Kit's room. I love, I've been really liking plaid because of following Doan and Heather Taylor home. And I just really love how they style things and make it look very homey. And so I really love this for Kit's room. So what, what these are are actually window toppers. So they go this way um, and they have the seam here and then you put the hole through, like the pull through here. And so it bunches up and it has like cute ruffle on top. But so what I'm gonna do is take this stitch out um, and make it longer, but then I'm gonna sew them lengthwise. So it'll be a nice long and cute um, curtain for him. And these were $3.99 at Salvation Army. And so yeah, I got six of them. And it's gonna look really, really cute. So I'm so excited for those. I'm on the same, uh, I'll show you the rest of the curtains I got. Thank you. Mess. <laughs> garbage bags that's so much stuff um so this i got for the rest of the these so the curtains those green ones are for kit here and then the rest of these curtains are for our cottage um we don't have any curtains on there we have blinds on most of them but then we added a room wes made a room um we had the owners had a workshop in in one half like of the extension one part of the extension and so Wes like made it, it was like all cement. So Wes like put up walls. Well, we got some in the frame it, but Wes did like all the walls, all the wood walls. And then we put bunk beds in it. And that, that room doesn't have blinds. And uh, so I'm putting in some curtains, not these ones, but this, this one is going into Lux's room. Look at how pretty this is. So this is just a really nice cotton and it has this really pretty blue stri like stripe through. And so these are gonna go on Lux's window. And she loves blue, and so I sold her <laughs> on that. So that'll go into her room. And then um, I have three sets of these. So the bunk bedroom, um, the room that Kit sleeps in, and the room that Poppy sleeps in are going to um, have this. This is kind of like a yellowy green. And it's look at the, the top of it. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's on both sides. No, it's not. Look, look at these. This is so cute, so charming, very Heather Taylor home. And they're like nice and long. So we don't have a lot of, um, we're trying to keep the cottage really simple. So we don't have any rugs. Rugs I find high maintenance. I'm um, like this rug, we just washed. And I'm like, I, I've had it for like four years. So we keep washing it and I want a new one, but like they're just more high maintenance than curtains. So I'd rather wash curtains than a washer rug at the cottage but then like every room seems very plain without more and like hard without like nice like woods or nice um nice furniture or like curtains or rugs so i think this is gonna soften up the rooms um yeah they're all have white walls the ceiling is is um wood so it feels kind of dark and the hallways are wood but yeah each room has like a metal a black metal bed and um just like very basic and then like I think every room now has side tables it's taken me like three years to get side tables for every room so yeah I'm getting there I'm like the slowest decorator in the world but I'm so happy with this I think this is so cute they're all brand new they all had like um new tags on them um yeah from this company called El Caso and I think they went out of business they're based out of Richmond Hill here in Ontario but oh it's gonna be so cute so I have six of those because they're for three windows. Yes. Um, yeah, other Luxus stuff. Otherwise, the whole half of the store was Zara. So Zara just donates everything to this Salvation Army near us. Uh, it's amazing. Um, they don't have a deal with them. They just, Zara just shows up with what I suppose doesn't sell in their clearance. I'm not sure how that works, but there's like one Zara in Mapleview. And I, and I think there's Zara's in Toronto, but I assume the one in Mapleview donates to um this Zara. So this isn't Zara, sorry, that's a tangent. But uh these are just like cute jeans I found for Lux um as she goes into winter. She likes wearing dresses, so we'll see if she actually likes wearing jeans. Because we're in a school 
where there aren't any uniforms, I think she'll be more influenced by what other kids wear. And I think the typical girl her age wears jeans and leggings. So I'm gonna get her more of those. We'll see if her style changes, but regardless, that's a nice warm weather option. And so along with that for Lux, I got her these. These are little Silver Mary Janes. So cute. And then these are brand new. These are Zara Valley Slippers and they're leather. They're so cute. These are a bit big for her. She says these are tight on her, but I think she just kind of has to break them in. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. And then I got, I got Mary Jane's too. <laughs> so these are also from Zara. And um, yeah, I'm brand new. And they are a very, very different color than I'm used to wearing. Wes and I were talking about the other day about how he, like he doesn't want to shop or do anything or buy anything new or we're like, we we're talking about how annoying the new jean trend is. And I'm not sure how it is for men, but wearing new trends and trying new stuff as you get older is really hard for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's just, uh, maybe it's because we have to deal with so many other things that fashion is kind of um, back, like more in the back burner, typically. Like for me, it's not obviously. So I'm like all for like trying a new color, but it is hard. I do encourage you if you do want to try a new trend go and find something secondhand like this is this is like the mary jane style is familiar for me but the color is new and the color is like a very trendy color right now this light green like a, almost like a celery green um so yeah go and try a new trend secondhand that's lots of fun and then these also leather also zara so cute goodness and then yes zara again this cute little makeup bag along on the plaid train I or a lunch bag does, does Zara do lunch bags I, I'm confused about the inside of this so in any case if you know why that's that color you tell me and then the last thing I got is this coat again originally from Zara it's so cute it's like a cropped um bomber let me show you what it looks like on and this is the Zara coat I love I love how cropped it is. I love how it looks from like the side here. Like the silhouette is really cool. And then look at these pockets. So neat. Love the sleeve. I think this is just like a really updated version of like a splash jacket. And then there's um a hood, which is going to come in handy because it is raining today. So I, when I pick up my kids, I have to put this up. But yeah, and this like hides away. Whoop. This hides away in um the collar. So really fun, really easy, nice finds. I wanted this blue trench coat I think you saw in uh, the video, but I wasn't sure about blue as a trench coat color. And so it's been haunting me, but then I can't think of anything that I would wear it with that I wouldn't wear my plaid trench coat with. I'll show you. This trench coat is from Mr. Larkin and I got it a couple of years ago and it somehow goes with everything in my wardrobe. Um, I was have pink and blue. I like it with this tank right now even. Um, and yeah, just regular, regular colored, classic colored trench coats. This, this color doesn't look great on me. So I need to have something else near my face. So that's why I was thinking of the blue one at Salvation Army. I'm not sure if I'll go back for it or not, but this one checks a lot of the boxes already. It's actually a pretty different silhouette. And this one is not cotton. The one at Salvation Army is cotton. But yeah, this is normally my trench coat for this season. Night, um, Wes and I, I think are gonna do a date night at home. I'm, we're starting this thing where we're swapping with my friend. Um, so we're gonna watch their kids or stay at their home basically. Um, hopefully tomorrow night or the next night. Otherwise we'll start next week. And um, yeah, we just take turns watching each other's kids and that way we don't have to pay for a babysitter. <laughs> and we get to go on date night. So hopefully that'll happen. And I can um, take you with me on that maybe next week. Um, but otherwise, follow me on Instagram because I will definitely be posting my first date night here um, on Instagram. That's for sure. And that's it. I will see you maybe later, maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. This vlog is not planned out at all. It's just whatever, <laughs> whatever happens when. Um, so I will see you either tonight, later, today, or tomorrow. <laughs> It is Saturday and we are just at, you can see, a community uh, garage sale. Wes and I love to garage sale almost every weekend if we can in this summer. 
Um, and so Wes actually just went to take our loot all the way back to the car because we found so many good items already. Girls, do you want to talk about what you got? I got a counter box and a crown. And a crown. Poppy, what did you get? We'll have to show them later. I got a baseball suit. You got a hockey helmet? I got a hockey helmet. What we're going to wear for skating. And you also got a crown, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and Kit is living the life with I, his I legs. I got a treat. So we will show you what we get as uh, as we go. Our stroller is getting full. Kit is packed around. Wait, Wes, for Poppy. Okay, what did you get for free? Did you get the car? Police car. Yeah. And Lex is all decked out in princess gear. And Poppy, what did you get for free? What did you get for free, Pop? No. Cash register? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. And this lantern. Cute. This is lantern. So these are my finds again. This is that blazer. I'm going to try that on for you in a minute. And I think I'll have time to take the shoulder pads out and show you what that looks like. This is just a really happy quilt. Um, I think this is going to go to the cottage. It's so cute. And the kids can, like, do picnics with it outside. Um, and this cottage. This lamp... This lamp will also go to the cottage. I really like the wood base and the blue, like um, the colors for the cottage are kind of blue green. And this is the shade that came with it, but I don't like it at all. I want one that's like white and just kind of like that traditional like triangle. And this is the lantern, which I thought was cute and will like emit really cute light. And then this is the mirror, which I think is just beautiful. I love the shade. So let me show you the blazer. This is the blazer on. And you can see it has that oversized fit, but it's tailored a little bit. So I think it'll work really nice with dresses, particularly this one. I think the colors go really nicely together. So I'm just gonna take the shoulder out, the shoulder pad. Hi everyone, I am, this is many weeks later, but I finally finished these curtains in Kit's room and I did the blazer. So I just wanted to um, show you those finished things. So first I'm gonna show you, I'm in Kit's room. I'll show you his curtains. This is Kit's room. It's painted like a really dark green, um, which is the leftover green from our bedroom upstairs. I forget what the color is. It's a Benjamin Moore color. So I have two walls that have nothing on them. Um, this one just has his little bookcase. But yeah, so these are the curtains. I'm so happy with them. So if you remember, they had they were just toppers. So what I had to do, there's a seam here. And what I had to do was like take, I took the seams out. So you can kind of see, yeah, you can see that line there. So I took, and I need to take these threads. I need to put some, pull some threads up. So I undid all the seams because they were meant to do just the, be the, the top of a window. So I undo, undid all, like all the seams there. And on this side, and I ended up only needing two panels for each um, side, each panel. So the, the trickiest part was just trying to figure out how to do this top part. Because um, I didn't, I just wanted to fold the curtain down to make like the tube to go through the, the curtain rod. But um, I didn't want to take any of the length away because I thought the length of these was great. And so what I ended up doing was just adding a piece of fabric on the back. So I added a tube from another panel um, on the back of it, which I could have added, I guess, at the very top, but I didn't know if that was gonna look weird. But um, I like the length of it. So that's it. Oh, I'm so happy with them. I love the green color. I like the like um, pattern that, like in the room, I like I love pattern curtains. I think it's so charming. I'm gonna show you, I got the yellow the other day because I still had these. Um, I'll show you what the yellow looks like. Oh, is this not the most cheerful yellow? Here, let me put it by the window so you can see the actual color of it. It's so cute. So this is the window topper too. So it has this um, seam here and then on the other end. I just absolutely, I love this color so much. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna do um, something with it for the cottage. And then I got, yeah, another one, but I want to go get yet another one because I, I cut into these for this curtain. And that's that. Um, next, oh, I'll show you this lamp. It's so cute. Hold on. I got a pair of these from <laughs> Basic Marketplace. Don't they look like they'd be like from Anthropology? 
Oh, they're just $20 each and I love it. The shade is not ideal. I think it's too big, but it's like sparkly. You can't really tell. Let me see if I can turn this off. Yeah, it's sparkly and I thought that was such a pretty color to go with it, but I think I need a smaller one and I wanna see ideally sparkly now because how cute is that? We kind of have an animal, accidental animal thing going on in Kit's room. We got that actually at a garage sale and there was a lot of dirt right here Ooh, whoops okay i'll fix that there's a lot of dirt right here and then west just used a magic eraser and got it off and it's like brand new and then that's eric carl um illustrations and then we have this like bunny pillow um i think that's it he has like a dinosaur in there but yeah that's kids room i need to fix that painting now um but yeah let me go show you the blazer and this is the blazer without the shoulder pads and some of the padding there's like um i don't know enough about tailing but that there's like a lot of light padding throughout this whole thing so i took out a lot from the shoulder and this is it i'm really happy with the length of this and i think it goes so well with my sterling so that's what i'm wearing today and then i'm just wearing ballet flats these are like ones from everlane i don't think they sell them anymore They're, they weren't a big hit but I think loafers would look good with this too. But I think black shoes, I like the black with it. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, the thing I'm doing with the arm. <laughs> so you can see it right here. I'll have it, I'll show you how to style it. But these are just hair elastics. So I'm just shortening the sleeve that way. So I'll show you what it looks like properly styled. There, that's better. <laughs> oh, I just like this so much. It's wool, this blazer. And this is the one I got for free. Um, so I think it's just really well made and like just a great piece. I really like it with dresses. And that is finally the end of this vlog. You can hear Wes coming down. You can come down. He's like, <laughs> but um, I think I'm gonna start the next one when you go up to the cottage in a couple days um, and show you what those curtains look like because I'm so excited to get those up. Whose jacket is that? That's mine. I got it at the garage sale on, no, no. on the floor, oh, on the ground. Oh, okay. I was about to, I'm so excited because I was like, oh, I get to retell this story again. Okay, uh, I will see you next time at the cottage.